Did Jacob found an old school phone. So we're on the Stagecoach Trail and right here, this sign is a suggested speed of 40 around this curve, right? But then it turns into a 30 mile an hour zone. Well, I was coming down this way one time and I got pulled over and the cop said, well, you were doing 40. And I said, because that's the speed limit. He goes, no, it's not, it's 30. I said, let's go back here and look. And I showed him, I said, right here, the sign suggests that I should do 40. He said, but the speed limit is 30. I'm like, but the suggested speed is still legal and he goes okay and I actually got out of that speeding ticket the reason the stagecoach trail is, trail, stagecoach trail is so famous is because you got a lot of winding curves and hills and then there's a lot of farm equipment too and uh, yeah uh, it used to be the main route for people to get from Chicago to like Dubuque area um, so yeah and you get these I can't really see here. Usually you get some really gorgeous views um, right here. Just too many trees blocking it, but it's a very beautiful drive. Lots of hills, lots of uh, curves. We get some cool views. I can't get any cool view. You can see some here. When we get further down, I'll show you some of the some of the good views. And these are the views I'm talking about. This is just one of them. <clears throat> just beautiful. I can see all the way across the countryside. <laughs> And right up here, I have to show you is Dead Man's Curve. When I was a kid, my mom used to drive this route all the time just to go around Dead Man's Curve. And in recent years, within the past 10 or so, or 14, <laughs> past 14 years, um, I'll show you what they did when we get there. So now the curve goes this way, but you can see there's a road up there. The road used to go down that gorge but it used to be filled in obviously and used to be on the road up there so many people died on that curve they because it used to come up here and it was a so yeah it used to be a different intersection too but it used to come all the way out right here and uh so many people died on that curve they finally decided to fix it and here's some of those hills i was talking about you can see it just you go down here we And then you come up this one and look at the view and then go down this one Whee! it's like a roller coaster and then you go up this one <laughs> and then you go down and then you got two more so yeah that's part of the hills and uh, well we've already been through some of the curves but the best ones come up here and I'll show you those when we get to them once I get over this hill But yeah, beautiful views. Just awesome countryside. I love coming this way. Well, we just went through some of the curves. And then we're going through this last one. But you'll see up here, there's quite a few curves and Jesus saves. If you can see, ever since I was a kid that's been there, they repaint it all the time. Jesus saves. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> and then uh, you'll see right here, look at the view. And then this curve gets a lot of people. A lot of people end up going straight and into that cornfield. Lots of motorcycles I have seen crash there because they don't slow down in time. And yeah, so that's one of the, one of the bad curves. There are others, but up here you can see we got another one. We've only been through, what, 15 in the past few minutes? So it's not as cool as the Tail of the Dragon in North Carolina, but we still got some pretty cool curves on this one. As you can see, we go around this one, and then we're going up here around another one. And there's houses really close to the road. Lots of fun. Whee! Somebody doing burnouts. As <laughs> you can see the stuff on the road. And we go around this curve, and then we got this really sharp 30 mile an hour curve here. <coughs> because 
back in the day, they had to follow the land. And this is how the land went. And we, and no, I can't show you the view. Here we go, look at there. Oh, gorgeous. Look at the view. That is just gorgeous to look at when you're driving. And now we get the fun curves, Woo! 55 mile an hour. <laughs> Rocks on both sides. Beautiful scenery in front of us and lots of fun curves coming up. This is a beautiful drive. You like this ride, Randlin? Yeah. Yeah? Jacob, you having fun yet? He's like, yeah. He's playing his oh, I sold them. games. So, on this. What are you playing? Oh, okay. See, these are the really bad curves, but they're so much fun. This farm over here on the right um, is one of the first in the area, and they've done a great job of preserving it. Beautiful old farm, and there's a few more up here, so we're going to be in Galena pretty soon. So we made it to Galena. I didn't show you all the fun stuff because uh, I didn't want to. If you ever come this way, you can find out for yourself. Or you can watch my motorcycle video where I actually rode from Lena, Illinois to Galena, Illinois along the stagecoach and you can see all the pretty stuff that way. So we're gonna, we had to park up on the hill because uh, downtown is full. So we'll show you all that here in a minute. So this right here is the famous Galena staircase. You go here, across the street, and then all the way up that. If you ever watched the movie Field of Dreams, James Earl Jones and Kevin Costner were actually talking on these. I am not walking up that. I'm too fat and too old. And we're walking down here because it's a lot easier to go down than it is to go up. This is a cool house here because the hill goes down here. There's a business here. There's a house there. That is cool. This is the famous DeSoto Hotel. It used to have two more stories on top, but they never rented them out and the birds ate them, so they tore them off. This is one of the most haunted places in Galena. They do a lot of uh, ghost... Uh, tours and stuff like that trying to find spirits and stuff so that's the famous DeSoto Hotel this is where the downtown starts back that way and goes all the way around the curve here but yeah that's the famous DeSoto Hotel a lot of uh, old school politicians like Lincoln and other people like that stayed there just to show you how old school candy store candy store uh, there's another candy store right down here uh, right over there there's another one down there. I think there's another one down there. There's candy stores everywhere. If you want to shop, this is the place to go because they got shopping and lots of fun stuff. This awesome leather store right here. We've bought a lot of stuff from them. So yeah, this is a really cool place to go. Here's a store I've never seen before. Look at them sandwiches. Oh. Bread and vine. Oh. Came into a fudge store, homemade fudge. I wish you guys had smell vision <laughs> It smells so good in here. Look at all this delicious candy. Oh, beautiful chocolates. We got a guy here playing the accordion. Comes out here all the time. Makes a lot of money. In uh, overseas, they're called buskers. Here, they're called street musicians. This guy looks a little stiff. <laughs> Ulysses Grant, made out of bronze, sitting on a bench. So this is one of the famous ghost tours. And they're testing the, uh, the fire alarm. It must be a fire somewhere. Or is it the, no, it's not the first Tuesday of the month. They're either, no, they're calling the volunteers, so there must be a fire somewhere. It's noon. Oh, it's noon, that's what it is. It's the noon, it's the noon fire alarm. They set it off at noon. Okay, now I know. I knew I've heard it before, I couldn't remember why, but they also call off the volunteers like that. So, ooh, a bakery. That's a new one. I haven't seen this place before. Shops come and go in this town like crazy because if you don't have something different, people don't stop. La Mo, what? Mi, Mi Shokana restaurant? That's definitely new, never seen that. Bless you, Jacob. Bless you again. Gabby's Gifts. This is the old movie theater. Or the old theater. Not necessarily movie theater, but the old theater. And it's a shop. A lot of fun. But yeah, let's keep walking. 
So we, we are in a candy store now. They got lots and lots of candy. <laughs> Jacob's covering his head, nose because it smells in here. It smells like candy. It's a little overwhelming. No. A little too way. sweet. Yes, way. We have to get this. Thing. The pizza candy he's been looking for. Oh. E fruit pizza. Your okay. Your Lots of stuff. I, I think they want ten fifty per pound. If you use a credit card, it's ten ninety five a pound. But I can get all the same stuff at Menards for way cheaper. So we came around that corner, more shopping. Up here, I'll show you the oldest house in Illinois. So this is Galena's oldest house, built in 1826. They do give tours, you can go to the tour shop over here, but it's like 35 hours, or 25 or 35 hours to go through that tiny little house. A lot of people just look at it, so. But it's, they got a fun little gift shop here that used to be the carriage house, and this beautiful cut limestone home. It's actually pretty cool. I've never actually been inside, because uh, like I said, it's expensive to go in here. But it's uh, definitely a fun experience that maybe we'll do someday. So we came to Dirty Gertz. I got a burger, Randall got a turkey burger, Jacob got, what'd you get, chicken tenders? And fries, so yeah. We decided to stop and get something to eat and then we're gonna head to go around and see what else we can do today. Randall, did you enjoy your lunch? Yes. Jacob? Yes. Yes. Yes, I enjoyed mine too. So now we're gonna walk around a little bit more. Probably won't show you much because we're just going through the same stuff we went to before. And uh, we might go look at a few shops. <laughs> Jacob's tripping on his own shoes. But then we're gonna probably head to Dubiqueue and we'll see what we can find there to do. There you go. The fun stuff we see in Galena. Fun little t-shirt shop. Undefeated hide and seek champion. Grill and chill and a refill. I have mixed drinks about feelings. T-Rex hates the gym. <laughs> Push-ups, pull-ups, and weights. That's funny. Root Bill Rivalry and Soda Store. Hmm. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Uh, very good stuff in there. So this is the inside of the DeSoto house. Their old, what is it, their uh, historic front desk with the uh, staircase. Nice little sofa, big mirror, beautiful place. Like I was saying about earlier, the famous visitors to Galena. You got Frederick Douglass, we've got Milford Fillmore, Abraham Lincoln, Dorothy Dix, Herman Melville, uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Eugene Field, Susan B. Anthony, Mark Twain, Booker T. Washington, uh, William McKinley, Elizabeth Candy Stanton, Teddy Roosevelt, Jeanette Franklin, William Jennings Bryan, Satchel Page, and W.C. Handy. So I went into the root beer and soda store. They don't have Bunterberg. What the heck, man? So you, you got your third story homes. You got a balcony that goes across from this street. That's how steep the hill is. You got your second story home, and then the downstairs is where the short stores are. So that's just cool how they have the apartments like that. So you can get to the third story from this road, but nowhere over there. So along where we parked, there's a lot of uh, bed and breakfast. There's a big church here, I think is what that is. I don't remember. There's a, is this the Galena Museum? I don't know, I think that's elsewhere. But yeah, they got a lot of old buildings through here. Beautiful churches over across the street. There's a lot more too we didn't show you, but there's some pretty good stuff through here. A lot of bed and breakfast down here. So this house up here is the largest house in Galena. It beat out the other house by like 20 square foot, but nobody knew until they measured it. And this is also a very haunted house. Uh, we're gonna pull up here just to show you guys. But it looks like they got some trees down, but that is a gorgeous, gorgeous mansion. And uh, yeah, they do dining with the ghosts or whatever, so you can pay to eat dinner with ghosts. <clears throat> I'm not sure how they do that but it looks like they need to do a lot of work because uh, it looks like it's uh, abandoned again. And I don't remember what this place is, but it's a part of it. <clears throat> but yeah, you can tell they haven't been here in a minute. They're still doing construction. This is an absolutely gorgeous mansion. Basement door is open. <clears throat> but this is the largest house in Galena. And like I said, they do ghost tours and we gotta turn around because there's a tree down right here. So now I gotta have fun backing up. So there you go. 
on the way to Dubuque. Beautiful cliffs on each side. This is a beautiful area to drive through. This is called the Driftless Area. Uh, I think it's what it's, yeah, the Driftless Area. So you can actually find Lake Superior Agates all the way down here at the corner of Illinois and uh, Iowa and I think Wisconsin. And doesn't Minnesota meet here too somewhere? I don't know. I don't know, but yeah. So basically right in this area from just a little more east of Galena to all the way over here is all the Driftless area, and you can find Lake Superior Agates, which I've yet to do. Maybe someday I'll do it. So, we are leaving East Dubuque into Dubuque, so Illinois to Iowa, and this is the Mississippi River. Yay, there's a train down there moving, train yard over here, and then you got the big bridge in front of us. I think I've shown this quite a few times. I just love coming this way, it's so much fun. <coughs> Some barges over here that load and unload. Then you got your Mississippi River, you can see a creek of it. Yeah, there's boats everywhere. It's flooded right now because the water's really high. So there you go, the mighty Mississippi River between Illinois and Iowa, between Dubuque or Dubuque and East Dubuque. Yeah, it's a big river, Jacob. Train bridge over there, all the old buildings, a yellow Corvette. <coughs> That's pretty cool. Get into Dubuque and they got the road closed because van rear ends SUV. And obviously there was injuries because uh, they have to tow both of them. So, because the SUV is still drivable, but oh well. We are now at the port of Dubuque over here. And then right through there is the Mississippi River. So we're going to walk over here. And we're going to go walk along the Mississippi. Think about picking up some of this driftwood and see if I could sell it at uh, Pet Expos. They got some good driftwood. And that stuff is great for uh, reptiles. Dubuque sister cities. Dornbin, Austria. And Handan, China. 4,555 miles that away, And 6,740 that away. Yeah, I don't think I'll be going those anytime soon. It's a little far for me to walk. So here we go. On the mighty Mississippi River been a long time since I've actually been on the water of the Mississippi nice little area though oh look at the well, Jacob look at the water coming out over here look at the water coming out that's all the poop and pee from the city no I'm not joking that's probably what it is because the uh, water treatment plant is right there <laughs> oh anyways yeah that's gross so yeah it's a beautiful little area you can see how big that bridge is wow that's huge and Randall's gonna go swimming there is a step down there. Just don't let Jacob see it. <laughs> Are you going to do it with Crocs on? <coughs> okay, go for it. Actually, beautiful, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, beautiful area. Nice view of the railroad bridge there. So we're going to walk up along that way and see what they have to offer that way. Jacob discovered the water access, and of course he has to make splashes. <laughs> so you can come down here and enjoy the water, since there's no swimming or wading. But they have bricks where you can stand on, right? Hey, but the water's high, that's the only reason why. Because the river is high, that's why those bottom bricks are covered. I see a phone. Oh, a phone? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, there's a phone, go grab it. Go grab it, that's a free phone, go grab it, I want to see it. Just right no, here, Jacob. You can't, you can't grab it. Why not? That's a cell phone on the... Yeah, there's a cell phone right there. Hang on, I'll get it. Jacob found an old school phone. And look, the uh, the case still works. <laughs> yeah, that thing's not going to be able to charge or work, but that's hysterical. We found an old phone in the Mississippi River. I wonder how long that's been there. So Jacob found a bunch of fish bones <laughs> and vertebrae playing around in the water. That's pretty cool. There's some neat, some neat ones there interesting so we finally got jacob out of the water walking further along up here just an absolutely beautiful area all the houses on the bluffs have crossed the way that's where i would live right on top of the bluff nobody can find me <laughs> so it's a nice little walking trail here and then they got the casino back there and this is a hotel i think i don't remember if it's a casino also but i know there's at least one here jet skiers no you're not going down there that's too far but yeah, they got the limestone. I don't want him walking down that, especially in Crocs. So we're gonna walk down this way a little bit and see what they got to offer. 
see if I can zoom in. There's a turtle! How cute is that? Holding this old, old iPhone, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't do video. Duh! That's a pretty cool little sculpture right there. Looks like a shovel head on top. <laughs> That's pretty neat, all metal. Very nice. There's a little area we can walk down down here. I think we might just go down there and make Jacob happy. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna let Jacob go over there. It's a little muddy and I don't want him falling. Can't swim or wade though. He might go a little further down, but I'm not gonna let him go into the water over here because yeah, that's a little dangerous. Right here in the limestone, I find quartz crystals. This is a limestone that's lining Look. the wall. Bunch of quartz crystal right there. How nifty is that? It's moving. That's cool. This is the Mississippi Museum and a River Museum and Aquarium. It's uh, the Riverboat Museum. We uh, did a really good video on that one. That was a fun day. So we are back on the road, getting ready to go back over into Illinois from Iowa. We'll show you the Mississippi River from this side because I don't think I've ever done that. I think I always show it from the other side. <laughs> so yeah, this is the bridge here. We were down over there. Pretty area over here. A lot of big trains. Yeah, the high V we went to. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, there's a fire truck over there. Something happened on the road. Oh, it's construction maybe? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, there's a Mississippi River from this, from the Iowa to Illinois side. Beautiful. I'm gonna take a boat one of these days and head that way and go to Louisiana. That'd be awesome. What do you think? Who wants to join me? Get a pontoon houseboat and just go all the way down. And as long as we don't touch the shore, we can use our Illinois fishing license to fish the whole river. Okay, and we catch the train. <laughs> I want to get a train horn on my motorcycle. I think that'd be awesome. <clears throat> I had a semi horn, but it kept blowing fuses, so I had to take it off. It's a nice long train, but we're going with it, so. Wow, that is a long one. <clears throat> ah, my camera got all jacked up. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I fixed it. <laughs> Gotta have that dash cam in the right uh, position. We found a phone. <coughs> and I found a phone. You found a phone. Where's the phone at? I put it in the back. I doubt I'll ever get it working, but hey, you never know. Wait. You can always get the serial number off of it, find out who owns it, and send it back to him. Say, hey, I found your phone. <laughs> sometimes people do that. Yeah. Look at the car carrier, Jacob, right there. Unlikely not. Oh, there's no money in the case. <clears throat> I did look. I have found money in the case before on other phones I found on the beach, but not that one. <clears throat> Can I keep it? No. Because I'm going to try to find out who owns it and return it to him. And there's the end of the train. Look at the view on the way home. Look at that. Jacob said, we can see everything from here. I'm like, yeah, isn't it gorgeous? So we didn't find anything else to do. Did you have fun today? Tiring. Yeah, I know. Jacob? Oh, he's asleep. I guess he had too much fun. So that's our adventures to Galena and Dubuque. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.